Okay, so so far we are talking about uh, these beta parameters and uh, if we show the relationship between y variable and these x variables on the right hand side, each beta parameter it shows uh, the average effect of that uh, x variable on uh, the y variable. For example, in this case beta 1 shows what will be the impact of uh, x1 on uh, y gate variables that is holding all these variables constant. So in nutshell what we are talking about here is these beta coefficients they show the average effect of uh, that x variable on uh, y variable. Wage as a function of education this beta parameter beta 1 shows what will be the average effect of one year of extra education on wages and we saw on average it is about 9.2 percent in the in the last example that is adding one year of extra education increases wages by about 9.2 percent so essentially what we were finding here is that if we draw a normal curve of all the wages and the education levels the impact of uh, education on wages it can be shown on this graph so this is the average effect 9.2 percent for some people one year of extra education may be adding 20% to their wages and for other people one year of extra education may be adding only 3% to their wages but what we are saying here based on our model that on average the effect is beta 1 that is 9.2% so in nutshell this uh, beta parameter it shows us the average effect of uh, that x variable on uh, the y variable there is one more statistic that we need to care about when dealing with the uh, these beta parameters and that is the variance of uh, beta parameters so we may be interested in knowing the measure of central tendency that is the average effect of uh, this beta which is 9.2 percent but we may be also interested in knowing on average what is the distance between these two points to the average point and the variance it will show us uh, this information so that's why we are interested in knowing how far away each observation is from its mean value and the variance shows us uh, this information okay so in this section I'm going to talk about the variance of uh, these beta parameters and in particular I'm going to talk about the size of the variance which is very important because a larger variance means that we will get less precise uh, effects of these x variables on uh, these y variable in addition we will talk about different components of the OLS variance I'll talk about error variance, total sample variation, and also the R squared that we will get. And finally, I will talk about how to compute or estimate standard error from our estimate and what happens when our model is misspecified. That is, we are using a different model rather than the true model. That is, we may be excluding some variable in the model or including an irrelevant variable in the model. In the next video, I'll be introducing you to the concept of uh, heteroskedasticity and homoskedasticity and how those are related with uh, the OLS estimates and the variances that we will get for these beta parameters. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.